There are new methods to have efficiency in all what we make. One of those these methods that I will talk about is vertical farming that help to feed almost all of the population of the world. Vertical farming is the practice of growing and produce in vertical stacked layers according to Beraniuk 2017. This practice can use soil hydroponic growing methods. These methods help to produce thanks to the designs of the structures of the layers and because of the help of the precision agriculture. When I say that help of precision agriculture is because you give what your crop need, but indoor, not outside. For example, we have uh, these pictures in which uh, we, we, we can see uh, how, how these plants are growing indoor. Other things is that you have a better control of all problems your crop may have in their cycle. Do you consider that vertical farming are a, pos a possible uh, in the near future? Yes. Here we have an, 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 an animation or a picture that said that vertical farming has been increasing in in almost all of the countries, China is the first one of all that been experimented with the system. I think that this method will be the solution for the most of the problems we may have in a future. Because according to Rose 2017, vertical farming uses less water, grows plants faster, and you reduce the contamination to the world. In most of the countries will be util <coughs> will be utilized uh, because in future their uh, land or soil will going to be affected or contaminated uh, of all the the chemicals we use for 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 having good production. In other case, they may use this method because you have a better control of your production and you may have better result. Co vertical farms replace conventional agriculture for example conventional agriculture here we can see many tractors um, working and contaminating to uh, to the world in my opinion i think that vertical farms may replace conventional agriculture in a future but considering that most of agricultures in the world are small farmers I say no. A small farmers will have difficulties to produce with this system because of knowledge or lack of money to invest and make a good um, vertical farm. Uh, does uh, which of these two systems uh, help or reduce the contamination to the environment? According to Cho, 2015, with a conventional agriculture, you have more than 24% of emission gases, you have runoff and acidification of soil, and water waste uh, uh, that affect our system, our environment. In the vertical farm, you reduce all of these problems, so the system is being more friendly with the world. Samorano uh, show all what we need to learn, in my opinion, is that all depend of you in the way you learn and in the way you look for it. A job you need to, to work to have one good job. Samorano will not give you a job, so you need to work for it. Samorano is giving you what you need for your future job, but it's your effort to look and have one. To conclude, this system has been utilized in many of our countries to have a better control of production of food or plant. This system will continue increasing and many of the farmers will change to this method uh, every day. Thanks.